If you don't do anything wrong, then there is no progress. There's no challenge, there's no fuel. Exactly. You know, like yeah. what fuels you. Kevin Kamala, welcome to Significant Podcast by the Yank, down here at Double Espresso Studios in Legian. You found your way. <laughs> barely. Barely, barely. Right, so we're really here to talk about uh, an important topic that's been kind of like uh, volcanic over the last two okay. decades, mm -hmm. right? Uh, plastic. Mm -hmm. And so tell us a bit about Avani and your inroads into um, moving the conversation into a slightly less uh, oil-based mm -hmm. uh, product. Mm -hmm. So uh, first of all, what's up everyone? My name is Kevin Kumala. I'm the co-founder of Avani Eco. Uh, we're an eco-technological eco company based in Bali, Indonesia, uh, Island of Gods. And my partner and I started the company in 2016. And we just hated plastic. We surf, we dive, and we see kind of like what's out there. And boy, there's a lot of plastic out there. Um, one day while sitting at the cafe, we saw a lot of uh, motorcyclists pass by us. And we were just thinking to ourselves, out loud, of course, uh, what if those motorcyclists, you know, what if we can help them? What if, can, what if we can help them uh, mitigate plastic pollution? So the idea was to create a product. Uh, we know that we are a bit shorthanded when it comes to like material science knowledge, when it comes to like uh, creating a new product. So we were like, what the heck, let's just do trading, uh, in which I am bestowed a little bit of knowledge in, in that department. So yeah, we traded Eco Ponchos for uh, starting in 2016. I love Bali. I remember. I love Bali. Bali. I love Green I love, Bali. I love, I love, yes, and I, I remember. Yeah. I remember actually wearing a couple. Yeah, of I love Green Bali, yeah. and then there's I'm not plastic, and there's one that says Eco Warriors, and the project didn't turn out so well because the shelf life was disastrous, and then from there on we pivoted into what Bali is really known for, which is hospitality, and the aha moment came when uh, we saw plastic straws. Like it gets super annoying when you surf and when you dive when you see like plastic straws especially those the viral video in which we saw you know a plastic straw get stuck up uh, on on a sea turtle's nose nostril oh yeah that was that was that was uh, that was pivotal that was, cringe. That, that that was, was pivotal. a cringe moment yeah pivotal, it was a cringe yes, moment indeed. and then like yeah we just we just we just went we just went wild with it uh, we just thought what if we can replace uh, <laughs> plastic straws with sustainable alternatives and there were the options were, were twofold one was the PLA straw and the second one was paper straw we were pushing the paper straw because we thought like it was the hero product we thought hey you know it's it generates a lot of volume volume equals money right. and like yeah and with that money you can then go and progress do, further, like, right? do other stuff right yeah, we gotta course. we gotta make something first you know we gotta yeah. make money in the beginning so that we can keep on doing other stuff that we had envisioned, of course. So yeah, that was the beginning of our humble beginning. We started out in literally a garage. I don't want to sound too cheesy here, but we literally started in um, Gunung Salak. Right. Oh man, Denpasar. happy tears, yeah. Gunung like, Salak, yes. Man, I, I was know. like, I moved from a pretty well decent sized office to a freaking garage. Right. But those are the happy days, right? I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, those are the days that you could, you're conquering the world and, and, and <laughs> yeah, the right. dream is intact. Yeah, right. So once, um, once you came out with the straws, and yeah, tell us a bit more about this, uh, this other product that's not plastic but uh, is, isn't quite paper. So what's it called? P? Yeah, PLA. PLA. PLA, PLA cornstarch. Yeah. Cornstarch. Yeah, it's not like the end all be all solution. Like right. it's but it's definitely progress in the right in the right direction. Definitely, definitely progress, not perfection, for sure. Yeah, well, I think it's the only it's the only way we can go. I don't think anyone right. invented the F one car as it looks right. today. Right, you can't you can't get a ten from the beginning. Like aim for like eight, or you know, at least right. you pass. You know, right. at least you go home to your parents feeling a little joyful. You right. know, like 
I got 80%, pass. right? Pass, yeah, I, I pass, you know, I did Maybe okay. 60% will do. Right, yeah. there's no such thing as, like, you start out of the bat. There's nobody in the baseball, like MLB, I watch baseball, like, there's nobody hitting a thousand, you know? Like, 300 is really good enough. Like, yeah. my boy Chiro was, like, batting 342. Um, yeah, so we thought, like, why don't we just start with something that we thought was good enough, our MVP. P, the most viable product. Uh, we know what the, uh, you know, the downfall of the PLA product when we started, but we kept on pushing, you know, like we tried. We, well, we, it wasn't really a downfall, it's a challenge. Right? Challenge, I mean, right. I, th we, I think what, what, what we all do with progress is we need to meet, we need to uh, uh, produce a product. Uh, yeah. Uh, come, and the challenge hits us yeah. as we're getting up and running and therefore progress happens. Exactly. If, there, if you don't do anything wrong, then there is no progress. Exactly. And there, if there's no challenge, there's no fuel. Exactly. You know, like what yeah. fuels you is to conquer that challenge. Correct. So like we just went with the PLA products. Uh, parallel to that, uh, we try to work with a composting facility in Indonesia, in Jakarta, sorry. Uh, we just thought maybe one day we could like return these uh, PLA straws intact and then we can like ship it over to Jakarta because like we have a lot of things coming from Jakarta to Bali uh, going one way and then from the going the other way we, we thought we could collect all these straws and then compost it at the facility. We know that the cost is going to be insane because you're shipping like super light products but you know density is very low but we thought that was like the, the most correct thing to do. But that plan didn't turn out so well because, like, we couldn't return these paper uh, PLA straws back to us because, like, logistically, I think it's, it's impossible. People are too lazy, right? And then exactly laziness, um, like it, restaurant managers, much, yeah. they're like, no way, there's no way we can recollect these straws yeah. back. Like, it would be disastrous for us operationally. Okay, you, need, speaking. you need continuity throughout the whole, the whole cycle of delivery usage. Mm -hmm. We had a we had Return. a pro yeah we had a program called Plan. So like plan your compost, so PLA N. Uh, but again, like I said, great uh, marketing. Yeah, yeah right. Great plan, marketing, plan right, your right. plan. Yeah, right, right. Like, but it didn't, it didn't turn out so well because again, it would be disastrous for restaurant managers, operationally speaking, to recollect these straws after they were being used. So, well, I don't think it's disastrous. I just think, as you say, I think there's a laziness. Certainly, laziness. <laughs> and yeah, then, and if they it. don't, if they're not getting paid to give them back, to yeah, you, there's no incentive. There's no right. incentive. So I think that's the, that's very much a challenge. I think of anyone and in the plastic industry, or even the, the, the progress towards non-plastic industry, yeah. is that these are the challenges that you face. Um, so, uh, you, so you went from the ponchos into making straws. The straws. Yeah. And and the, you you continue with those straws or, or you or you. So we disregarded the PLA straws. Like that's it. That's done. You're not doing. No, you, we're you, we're you, done you, with you that. Pulled out. Okay. Put us. Yeah, and now you've got you've still got your paper ones, which are great. Paper ones, yeah, for sure. Uh, we haven't really spotted any loopholes yet on the right. on the paper straws. I, I think a lot of people say they go a little bit soggy. I'd say to yeah, them, but, you're drinking too slow. Yeah. Right? Right? Well, ours, drink quicker. Yeah, ours <laughs> is three ply, so it's right. threefold, like twisted. Right. So I don't. I think it's last. Quite yeah, 40 minutes. I just had one, yeah. like, you know. Yeah. I didn't have it in my body, but right. I was just util utilizing it. Right. But, yeah, we discontinued the PLA straws, like it's done. Um, and then, of course... And then you're moving towards something else in straws, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. So, obviously, so, so I mean, the great thing is that you, so you recognize the need for straws. You recognize the, um, the challenges to getting them uh, recycled and recollected, yeah. collected, recollected, and then sent up. So, and now you're working on what? in the straw part of your business? Well, Indonesia has been blessed with a lot of biomass, especially waste of biomass. So we're trying to play around with a few different materials. But I think that our standard has to pass for BPOM, which is the FDA of Indonesia, in which that's always been the challenge. Like there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of like uh, innovations like rice straws and like made from like cassava, but they haven't passed for BPOM. And, and most of them are actually OXO. You know, so oxo plastics are basically injected plastic with, yeah, a heavy metal, in which it forces them to oxidize in a in a faster rate, and like we don't want to fool the public with that. Like right. plastic is plastic. I'm not plastic. Right. Is I'm not plastic. Right. So in terms of R and D, um, yeah, we're trying out different materials to make sure that it can polymerize and and right. reach the masses. So I think the real the real problem with this. P P PLA, PLA is just the temperature of the recycling plant. Yeah, yeah. And uh, is it possible to look into that 
part of the of the process so that the PLA is is usable just as, it's just to get the temperature up to that 65 yeah, yeah. degrees constant yeah constant is the word right like you have to make sure that's stable right. like it's so hard to find stability like yeah, it, in a life right <laughs> in so life and electricity yeah. and whatever it is in, in Indonesia for now yeah, yeah correct so yeah so what are you excited about right so we so you, and you said the the main um, focus was the the hospitality industry which we know in Bali is huge yeah I mean, more restaurants open here every day than I think anywhere else in the world. Yeah, seriously. Certainly than in Changu. I mean, yeah, seriously. Constantly, constantly. Yeah. So, um, so what, what, what are you excited about? Um, what are you excited about bringing what to the hospitality industry? I think... As far as, obviously, yeah. it's all takeout, right? Yeah. Your, your things are for takeout. Yeah, what's, what's so exciting is, like, the restaurants are getting smaller and smaller, smaller, but they're getting more sustainable at the same time which is so dope, uh, you know, like the race before was like, who has the biggest restaurant? Right. But now who, who has the most efficient and the most sustainable restaurant? And I feel that's really exciting. And I don't know, maybe it's going to go to metaverse soon enough. Like we'll be like virtual eating. I don't know. Right. Uh, can you be that efficient? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I think people have tried just with breathing. Right? I'm, not sure, I'm not sure they survive. Yeah. And uh, so basically a lot of your business is obviously based on takeout or, or right. takeout or Gojek. Um, this yeah. wonderful thing that yeah. came into being, I think it was 2013, was it? Yeah. Gojek? 14, yeah. 14. 14. Um, which has been a, a godsend to Bali mm. and, and definitely Preacher. Indonesia and, yeah. and copied by quite a few people. <laughs> um, I mean, because that comes from the original Ojek, which was, yeah. which was jump on the back of my bike and I'll big take you somewhere. Big shout out to Nadim. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, big shout out to Gojek. You know, they've definitely changed our lives and um, probably quite a lot of your business. Yeah, definitely. Um, man. Nadim's volume wise, anyway, yeah. I'm sure volume was was, was a shot. Nadim up. and Mikey's are homeboy, you know. Nadim and Mikey are homeboys. I mean, they keep it real. Yeah. It's a good business model for them. Yeah. Um, I think they could, they, could, they could go a little bit greener. I mean, I would quite like yeah, to see on the on the Gojek Go Food. I would actually like to see the green restaurants as a, as their own listing, not necessarily in the, in the cuisine, not the Mexican, not the yeah, Japanese, yeah. just the green packaging right. people, right? Go green. Yeah, go yeah. green. Just the green, just the green packaging, because I think you know, even if it's more expensive, I don't mind. Exactly. I, mean, I understand that you know some of these restaurants will have both, but if I take if I take At least give the an option. green, yeah. if I go for the go green button and I order the same burger, yeah, yeah. And it comes in green packaging. Then <laughs> I pay the extra. I don't mind, but but yeah. you know, um, I think they should do like a. You know, like default would be a green option, yeah. And then people can actually opt out from it right. and make them. Oh, you the know. default, right? And then you opt out of it if you don't want to, if right. you're going for the cheaper, right. but slightly more pollu pollutional option. Pollutional option. Pollutional yeah. option. Um, so with your, um, I mean, your marketing's been great at Avani, and I Thank know you. you've got quite a lot of stick. Yeah. So, um, h how do you uh, maintain? your focus but also your um energy i mean your drive forward i mean that's i think that's going to be you know sometimes don't you feel like just throwing it all away and saying well I, you know yeah, why bother it. i'm yeah. just screw it i can't be bothered anymore done, and i yeah. think if people do that then then obviously we yeah, get stuck in a, up, yeah. in a in a no in a no progress place mm. well it's it's prayer and uh, you know undoubtedly speaking it's prayer you just pound through and like keep on praying and keep on doing it and there will be a day where you feel like all right my time is up right you know it is good it is good so what i do notice and i think we mentioned just slightly before is that um whether the the, the product right now is a hundred percent you know uh, recyclable Compostable. right now it's not but you are setting up which i think is really interesting you are setting and putting into place the production mm. Right, all the production, so all you've done all the research on the, the sizing and the, the actual items <laughs> that you're producing so, so that you would be super ready for when that magic happens. Yeah. Um, and, and you'd have everything ready, so the distribution, yeah. the manufacturing and all that. Um, so I've always been a big supporter of yours, as you I know. know you um, um, some people disagree with me, mm. but then you know, I do think, um, as was mentioned before, you've got a lot of people that expect perfection right at the beginning. Oh, shoot. Mm. And um, and sometimes you know their arms flail up and down and um, mm. and I think the expectation is very high to mm. where the technology is today. So what are you looking forward to in terms of technology? Well, I think perfection only comes when you're wearing your underwear outside in, 
Inside Out, whatever. Oh, if, if your trousers, yeah, so like Superman, Superman right? right? Like, I'm still wearing mine underneath my garment. Like, there's no way, like, I can, I can achieve perfection. There's no way. The only perfection is God. Like, if us human beings, mortals, we're far from perfect. But in terms of, like, material, there's, there's so many exciting materials that, that can be utilized endless like one of them would be algae in which that's the favorite uh species of mine hmm. algae, algae or seaweed i think yeah seaweed, seaweed micro sea, sea, micro right, seaweed like right. algae like the smaller right. seaweed i think those have really great potential uh solar as well um yeah so how do you see, how do you see avani moving forward so obviously you're doing research and technology into the algae yeah. Uh, solar technology to maybe bring that re the, the the recycling plant up to that higher temperature, the solid. Yeah. I mean, definitely Indonesia. Lucky we're in Indonesia. Uh, you get tropical. quite a lot of good sun. And I'm not sure England would be the place to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and and so what what I mean, how would you work? For example, right now we're we're getting back. Covid's over. We've got the festivals coming back. Oh, massive yeah. music festivals. Okay. Or what? Um, how does Avani stand to, I mean, uh, do you supply those festivals? Do you put any uh, Avani um, kind of rules into, please put, I mean, do you have special like Avani recycling bags and things like that? No, I mean, I mean, Sophie, you know me, I'm always down to party. Right. Like, we just partied at Finn's rooftop. Um, but in terms of like supporting them, like we always support them whenever they ask, like, hey, if, if they want us to support them to like sponsor the event or endorse the event like we'll be down and do that for sure like i'm always down a party right <laughs> uh, and then yeah i mean there's no special treatment or anything yet but thank goodness um our, all our products are compostable it doesn't require a composting facility now down that we take out the pla products so everything that goes into you know the compost or the compost bin or like right. even the landfill like it will be just naturally disassociated. So this would be certain of these products. This yeah, one, right? Bagasse, some of these products that are yeah, made from bagasse, which is the waste of sugarcane fiber. Sugarcane fiber, right? Mm. And that you see, that's obviously that's that's that, that's a it's a good platform to stand on. Yeah, definitely, think, definitely, definitely. That's the I, I would say that that's the gold standard right now. Yeah. And I think, I think very much many of us should actually start changing our habits. Exactly. Right, because, I mean, obviously everyone loves that whatever it is comes with the coffee in it and the uh, foam yeah, and all yeah. that. And, the, and obviously this is not ideal. Mm. Um, um, only when the refill it gets up to that temperature would it be mm. more viable. Um, and oh, then further down the line, um, what, do you see, what, what do you see of Vani moving towards? I mean, are you going to... You're still on your research and development. You're still um, both for the refill, uh, so the, 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 the recycle center, and for the product. Mm -hmm. So are you looking for investment? Are you looking for, uh, what, what, what is Avani looking for in terms of making it to uh -huh. the next step up? Should you want my honest answer? <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's significant. World you want peace, to know man. what significant um, person's going to come along and what they're going to oh. give you to, to, to you know, bring Avani to become a significant player in the I'm not plastic world. Uh, well, the ultimate goal is world peace, but we got to do it one at a time. You got to save the environment. You got to save the sea animals, and you got to save the animals as well. Like mm -hmm. our bags are made from cassava starch, which is you know actually it passed for oral toxicity tests. Right. So once you pass oral toxicity, it means like if animals eat it it is safe enough to be ingested by them and right. digested. So I think that's, that's these good, ones. Yeah, I think right. that's a good start. Um, right. That's, yeah, that's our featuring product, I would say. Right. So like, that's good. It it, it's good enough for now. Yeah, it feels like yeah. condom. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but it's not condom. <laughs> and so that's, 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 that, that's, that's one of your, what, you're very proud of this one. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. So, so you go up and down with the, with the pride, pride, of, pride of product. Yeah, yeah pride right. of product. Try to pronounce it three times. Pride of product. product. Pride of product. Pride of product. product. Uh, and marketing is very big in your life with it in Avani. Yeah, so, definitely. So I, th I do think that um, I do think that's that's something that Avani Speaking did of very well. I'm just kidding. Uh, did very well uh, back in back started actually in 2013. 6, 16. 16. 16. 16. So, I mean, you're very young. I mean, what are you just like two years of COVID? I mean, you were like yeah. three years old before COVID hit. 
Yeah, pretty much. Like right. we we were just born, pretty much right. uh, born again. <laughs> but yeah, that COVID took us to a very dark period of time. Right. Like man, you know, retails retail spaces were down. There were no sales, and then FNB was just oh so bad. Shocking. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of takeaways, but they're trying to save costs, so they didn't use our products, even though our products only about twenty to thirty percent more expensive than paper. And, or plastic, it's it's not a great premium, you know. Um, but they're but trying when you to haven't save. got a job, I think that's right, right, every, right. Every little they're, bit they're of cash. They're trying to save literally like every penny that they could. So yeah, we were just again born again October two thousand twenty one. So yeah, it's only been like what eight months for us, and yeah, thank God, like it's been it's been pretty decent. M- moving ahead, and last lastly, um, if 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 the the investment guru came came in and waved his wand hmm. um, well, and let's say he gave you a million bucks or hmm. five million bucks where would you take the five million bucks to mm, sugarcane factory <laughs> sugarcane factory yeah right. sugarcane factory Processing, for sure. processed yeah sugar produce cane. produce sugar sugar of course healthier type of sugar and yeah take the shit out of a sugar right. plant I mean sugar mill factory right. You know, right. there's bagas, there's also like uh, tatas, which is the liquid form of sugar. Right. And like, there's a lot of things that you can actually use. It would uh, be a circ- circular economy, right? Exactly. From, from, from one, one plant that also produces exactly. carbon dioxide. And all yeah. right. But only five million though? Oh. Only five million? Oh, I'm not Give sure. Give us more. <laughs> You'd like some more? Well, I, I don't know, but I mean, probably more than one factory, obviously. Because yeah, the, the, we'll, the, we'll develop like a lot, yeah. lots. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I wish you all the best for Avani Thanks. and Ahead. Um, definitely, I think in Bali's coming up with some exciting uh, B20 people coming in. Yeah, B20. So I, I do think, you know, I'm sure you wish to, wish to connect with them. Yeah, for sure. And I think Indonesia is definitely a, a very a a prominent to place to, to invest in the future. I mean, definitely. not only has it got an amazing oh, population, it's also just got amazing resources. Definitely, so. definitely. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kevin. Uh, it's, been, it's been lovely to talk lovely. to you. Thank you.